What's up you guys, Shardness Prime here, doing a quick reveal video from Hasbro on the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Moon Knight figure. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I stumbled across this over at MarvelousNews.com. It looks like Dan Yoon posted this over on his Twitter, and holy crap, this is looking like like an incredible figure now if you want to know more of my thoughts on the moon knight show i was hosting a live stream last night on my second channel called rust toy reviews so if you want to check that out link in the description below uh without giving anything away from the first episode so far i am totally in love with the show like i really really liked the first episode a lot I'm not going to get deep into the show, but that's, oh man, I, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Might be my favorite first episode of any of the Disney Plus series shows so far. I I'm, I'm still kind of just, I need to maybe see it a second time, but man, I loved it. Anyway, this looks incredible as well. I am very, very stoked for this, man. I love how they have the multiple tones in the legs. So you can see from the knee down, it's a slightly darker gray color. And then as you move up, you get more to a white gray color. And then you have those little details with the gold moons on the knees. You can see uh, the text and everything. With the hieroglyphics on the thighs look really cool. The wrap throughout on the hands. I, I like how you can see that there's a color change right there between the wraps on the forearms and then the part underneath it. It looks like there's texturing on the cape. I mean, dude, the, the gold pieces on this look really, really, really cool. Now, this is a 3D render, so we don't know exactly how this will come out. But for the most part, Hasbro's done really well on having their 3D renders look very similar to the final product. I'm assuming there's going to be some subtle changes for sure. That does happen a little bit. There's like this slight hint of blue in the eyes that I really like. All these little details throughout. I really like the design for this suit as well. One thing that does concern me though as I'm looking at this is the diaphragm joint right there uh, has a little piece coming down from the chest section that could get in the way of the lower abs you know, limiting the amount of ab crunching you could do. And for a character like this, you want the ab crunch, right? So I don't know if that's going to hinder the articulation. If that little flap piece is soft enough, like sure, you'll be able to get the movement there. But then if it's soft enough to bend, if you leave it in a pose for a long time, move it again, it'll be stuck. And then you have to heat it up and get it back into place. So it looks like it's going to be one of those things going on right there. It uh, looks like the shoulder joints aren't going to be hindered uh, by the shoulder pads. It looks like it's all part of one piece. I'm seeing it looks like bicep swivels over there. And uh, hopefully we have the butterfly joints. I also like how the cape isn't necessarily draped over the shoulders. So it looks like the cape is not going to get in the way. I really dig that. And it looks, I, I can't tell if that hood, it looks like the hood is a separate piece, right? Like it'll move along with the head, kind of like how they've done with the hobgoblin figure, right? Or the goblin figures anyway. Anybody that has a hood with a cape, uh, I think that it's going to be a separate hood piece moving around while attached to the head and not attached to the cape itself, right? That's what I'm assuming. And also assuming no disc hinge, but only the uh, double or the dumbbell joint right there for the head. So uh, we got pinless joints, it looks like. And yeah, man, I'm pretty stoked for this thing. Now, uh, review done. I don't have to talk about it ever again. That's it. It's all over. <laughs> no, we'll see how this figure uh, looks when it comes out. Uh, it's supposed to go up for pre-order uh, tomorrow, or I'm sorry, on April 5th. And then it will be part of the Disney Plus wave that has the Kate Bishop and the Clinton Barton Hawkeyes along with the What If Ultron Build-A-Figure. So it will be part of that whole wave. And uh, sounds like it's going to be a pretty dope wave so far. I'm kind of excited for it. So I don't know, man. What do you think? Let me know. I wish I had more pictures to look at. It's just the one picture. And I am working on my Rintra multiverse of madness build a figure wave so stay tuned for that coming up later today and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on that rintra bath wave review and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.